Hello everyone, welcome back to the Revival. So, uh, we lost a game against Stoke. <laughs> we actually went 1-0 up against them in the 20th minute, thanks to Timo Werner. A fantastic shot taken on his left foot. Uh, through ball played in by uh, Vinicius Jr. And uh, it, was, it was a lovely goal, but unfortunately then Stoke hit back twice with headers. And uh, I, I'm afraid I just kind of took them maybe a little bit too lightly. And uh, the first goal, completely my fault. I just allowed the player to stay on side by essentially running Hayden all the way back almost to the goal line. Um, it, it wasn't my finest hour. But today I'm hoping that we will see one of my finer hours as we welcome Chelsea to St. James's Park, followed by Paris Saint-Germain. We'll get straight into the Chelsea game. Also, there is some news as regards the squad. Um, Henricks has pulled up during the Stoke game with a, uh, a right f hamstring injury, it looks like. It looks like that's all that anyone ever gets is, is hamstring injuries. But uh, essentially, he's going to be out until later in the month, which means Danny Alves is being pressed into action. Uh, it's a good job that we've used him a few times, so we're familiar with him as a player. Uh, looking at the other options that we have on the bench for today, Nkunku's not looking great, so I'm kind of tempted to play Almiron, even though he's not looking great either. At least he's well-rested. and We'll leave it at that and see how we can get on. Uh, also, there's no point in having Dubravka on the bench, especially when he looks as bad as he does there. So let's put Ribery in. And that's going to do us for today's game. Um, also, there's a bit of a kit clash there. So let's just have Chelsea wear their blue home kit. And that will do us. So with four games left in the Premier League, we are four points ahead of our nearest competitor meaning that really we need to win our last three games to absolutely guarantee that we win the championship. That means that until further notice, well, I'm going to be showing you every single Premier League game that's left. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue. Right, fingers crossed we can put in a decent performance today. So widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine, and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much, and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend. Go on, Werner. Oh, off the post. Surely second chance. Yes, he beats the goalkeeper. Puts it in the back of the net, and it's 1-0 to Chelsea. Sorry, 1-0 to Newcastle. I should say, after 3 minutes 50 seconds. Brilliant predatory play by Werner. Unable to make the first shot count coming off the post, but staying on his feet and alert enough to the position of the ball to get back on it and tuck it away. Nothing Chelsea could do about that and nothing that Kepa could do either. Shelby doing his due diligence and he wins the ball. Fantastic play from Shelby and if he can play the right ball, he's played a very good ball. It's not the right one necessarily but it's a good ball nonetheless. Werner plays it back, ah, just behind Almiron unfortunately, otherwise we could have got a shot away. Out to the left, Willems crosses it into the box. Werner with the header. It's not quite gone out of play, we're going to have to keep the pressure on the players if we can. But that all stemmed from brilliant defensive tenacity by John Joe Shelby. Unwilling to give up on the ball. Brilliant there by Hummels. Well, I don't think it was the wisest option, Peter. Once he got into that position, it's That's not, not the best he pass. He lost his footing a little bit there. He's been punished for it. Uh oh. Good defence. Nice little play. Peter, that the full backs are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Almiron gets wrestled off the ball. Just two men on Almiron. He's never going to get past both of them. And it's Loftus-Cheek. 
as Pliqueta finds himself back in the starting side for the first time in a while. Willian gets away from his opponents. Good defending by Newcastle, making sure that Chelsea don't get an easy time of it. Williams knocks it away. And here's Willian. Willian gets it out to the wing. They're testing us. They're really testing us. It's gone out for a throw. I'm happy to concede the throw. Better that than let the cross go into the box. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, it was a good save there by Schubert. Well done, that man. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes work ultra sharp. Corner to Chelsea. They're putting the pressure on now. He just stood firm. The hunger of Maximan there. He ran all the way back from his posting on the left side. There's Werner. Oh, he's just unable to get the ball over the head of the defender. It's unfortunate, but it was a lovely idea for Maximan. Loftus cheek. Across the field it goes. Kovacic had a hand in that goal, which gave his side the lead in their last match. There has been just the early goal here, and it's 1-0. Aimed in towards the centre. <sighs> Got away with that one. Oh dear, that's not a good pass. Chelsea play it back in. There's a chance. Oh my word, what a goal there from Willian. Fantastic hit by the Brazilian. We'll take another look at that one. Practiced in the art of keeping the ball through wonderful passing and movement, and a real appetite to ensure it's reflected in their goal count. So, just from outside the box, he just hits it, and away it goes back into the back of the net. One all, and we're going to have to do it all over again. Chelsea grab the equaliser, and we're all square. Oh, look, Peter, who knows what's about to happen from here? Ref, come on! What the fuck? Oh yes, that's beautiful play. Werner with the second goal for Newcastle. Second goal for himself. Back in control. I refuse to believe for a second that the referee was playing advantage because Chelsea ended up on the ball. But we've punished them after what should have been given as a foul. We kept on going and we've made it 2-1 to Newcastle. Just nice, tiny, delicate little pass there from Coco. He knew where Werner was. He knew how he wanted it. And he knew he could finish it. 2-1. Going to have to defend better now than we managed for that first William goal. Shelby doing a good job of making it difficult for Kovacic. Oh, that's nice. Hoists it high. Chelsea probing, looking for room. Unable to make the most of it. Goes out for a goal kick. Willems on the left. Almiron. Nicely controlled. They've managed to get it away. Matt Hummels. Newcastle back in control of the ball. Willems. Hummels. Ford Might be a bit heavy. He's managed to keep it in though. And Willems on his trusty left foot into the box. Oh, well defended. That had to be done. And it's Shelby. It's Shelby! Decent hit. Never going to trouble the goalkeeper, I don't think. But sometimes you just need to have a go and see what happens as a result. They're stretching the play now, Chelsea. They've got some very quick players. He gets it into the box. Newcastle able to come away with the ball. Win the second ball, that's the important one. Almiron. 
Werner offside. Ah, I thought he might have kept himself onside there. There was a centre back at the bottom of the screen. Unfortunately, unable to keep himself onside, and we concede the free kick to Chelsea. Should be the last action in. For, is the last action of the first half. Newcastle going 2 1 to the good. At one point, it looked like Chelsea were going to make it difficult. But only three minutes to take the lead back. They're dominating possession away from home. We're going to have to try and reassert ourselves in the second half. The next one will be pretty crucial. So it's going to be interesting to see how the teams come out for the next period. Well, it's still anyone's game as, as both sides have shown they have goals in them. As for the next one, should it arrive, um, that may have a bigger bearing as to who emerges victorious. Newcastle head into the half-time break with a narrow advantage. Shelby still working his little legs off, trying to make sure that We're Chelsea have to work for anything, period. any opening that they can find. Here's Hayden now, he does a good job winning that ball, plays it ahead of Maximan, who's unable to pick up on it. It goes back to Chelsea. Pulisic, out to the left it goes. Good play by the right back. Dani Alves not exactly done a lot. Oh dear, here we go. Leroy Sane, some pace being introduced in the Chelsea attack. Not that they didn't have enough pace already. Going to have to keep an eye out on that. And they're overloading the penalty area here. And it's Marcos Alonso. Kovacic. Well, the crowd clearly like what they just saw. Some real no-nonsense defending. Not finding it anywhere near as easy to play our way out. Oh dear, this could be an equaliser. Oh, it's off the post. Chelsea can feel a little bit unlucky there. In truth, we probably should have gone behind. Hoist it forward. Looks like he's in need of protection oh here. my god passings all over the place and this is a chance for Chelsea it's two all just so calm under pressure Morata really showed good strength there held his man off didn't let himself get bullied and, and for the third away. time today we have to do it all again this is quite a battle well, what a convincing response to going behind. They've got all the momentum now. Chelsea were impressive in their last outing and brilliantly orchestrated by the manager. Well, Peter, you just Might got, got away with one there. The substitutions, they were spot on and the timing of each were, were perfect too. That sort of decisive management is a winning formula in itself. They're finding it far too easy to pass it into our penalty area. Going to have to try and figure some way out of getting around that. There's Werner on the ball. If he can release Maximan, there's a run. No. Of course he can't. Ah! Oh, just pass it to feet, man. Kovacic. Now it's Sané. Oh, good take it up. William! And that could so easily have been 3-2 to Chelsea. We're going to have to buck our ideas up here big time. And I think maybe a change in personnel is required. Almiron is just not doing it today. We're going to try playing Bodmer in a more advanced role. Yeah, we'll give him a go there. Worst that happens is we end up playing two defensive midfielders to try and stem the flow. On the touch line, a change about to occur. I feel like we need a little bit more bite in midfield and Almiron really not giving that to us. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. We need to be better than that. We need to be so much better than that. Christ's sake. All over the place. All over the place. No clue whatsoever how to defend that. Oh, that was a cracking little exchange to set up the finish and a lovely understanding between both players. And Two steps behind in every situation. That's just terrible. Absolutely awful. awful. Well, 
So we have a breakthrough. Now, how will things develop from here? Yeah, for me, this team seems to Another loose pass. What's going on with the passing today? To need to dig in at the back of it. Danny. Oh, oh Christ's so sake. Okay, so that's a foul. Yeah, right, okay. I believe you. Millions fucking wouldn't. Finds himself eased off the Werner doing a great job of winning the ball there. Foul. That's a foul. There's no doubt about it in my mind. Say that your front lads should be that first line of, um, of stopping the opposition, and I think he's taken it to another level with his desire to get back and, and help everyone out. Well played, he saw that coming. There's a real appetite from them to finally put this game to bed, but. Will they? Ah, oh, that was such a nice idea of a pass. Couldn't do anything with it in the end, unfortunately. Ah. Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation. Come on, boys, we can still get something out of this. To still deliver. Sane plays it out to the flank. Azpilicueta, played in by Azpilicueta, well read, he sorted that out, Chelsea are looking to make this one safe, they want to reduce the risk, Werner's in on goal, he's got a chance here, oh, goalkeeper does really well, probably should have tried the lob, things getting very stretched at this end now, That's another foul. Play on, though. Oh, no. Come on, Maxi Man. You've got to try and win that ball back. And it's looking increasingly like we're going to end up losing again. That's two losses on the bounce. So I don't think that's happened to us for quite some time. Confirmation that there will be two minutes stoppage time. Well, what we're witnessing now just goes against the grain. They're not going to get back into the game like this. Willems. Willems. Oh, come on. And that's it. That's the final action of the game. It is Newcastle 2, Chelsea 3. An absolutely dismal defensive performance by the boys in black and white. I'm going to have to have words with them in the changing room after this one. A nervousness and tension. Well, that's the lot for now. Thanks to you, Jim. In truth, we were never really in it. Outclassed in every department. Chelsea apparently not committing a single foul. I find that very difficult to believe. But, of course, you know, use the benefit of your own eyes. Use the evidence of your own eyes and uh, let me know what you think. I think, frankly, we've been really, really hard done by in the last few games. We had fouls given against us, which are nowhere near as bad as some of the atrocities that have been committed against. But that's football, I guess. It, you know, you get some given for you, you get some that aren't given for you. Other results today, I'm just going to leave them up on screen for you for a second. If you want to pay more in-depth attention to them, you can always pause the video. Liverpool, Arsenal... Both winning, Manchester United losing, Crystal Palace beating Manchester City. Ay, ay, ay. So now our lead has shrunk to one solitary point, and we don't exactly have the easiest of run ins. Henricks cannot get back into the side soon enough. And so we press on to the Champions League, the first leg of the semi-finals. Henriks has now fully recovered from his injury, thankfully. So we'll go into the game plan and just make sure that that change is effected. Uh, 
Okay. And we get straight into the Champions League matchup against Paris Saint-Germain. All the players looking pretty decent. We'll leave it as that for now. Check the strips just to make sure. Yep, that looks fine as well. So we'll just go straight to the kickoff. I'm looking for a much better performance this time. Defensively, we were just completely caught short. There was no other way of saying it. We had no, no defence. No defence at all. As soon as Chelsea figured out that they could just walk through our defence, that was what they did. But let's forget about Chelsea now. We're now playing against Paris Saint-Germain in Champions League. It's a whole different kettle of fish. Is that a corner perhaps? I think it might be. The referee looks like he's indicating a corner. It is indeed. And I am certain there will be plenty more to come in the last few. It is semi-final day. Neymar now on the left-hand side plays it back to Verratti. Thiago this Silva. Simply a monument to the game. So much prestige, so much pride, so much passion whenever football is played here. So just Ooh. one more stat for a date with destiny. Few games come bigger than this one. Yeah, and the first leg of a semi-final, uh, you can't guarantee passage into the final, obviously, just yet. But you can make life quite hard for yourself. Ooh. <laughs> oh, nearly. Werner saw the deflection. He went for it. He couldn't quite reach it ahead of the goalkeeper. And it's a case of, of releasing your best now and just finding a stronger edge, letting the opposition know what you're all about. And it's going to be tough next time. Now they're attacking us down our left. Good tackle from Willems. Played forward to Maximan. Plays it inside to Nkunku. Nkunku sees Werner ahead of him. Plays into him. Good cross. Is it? Oh, it's gone in. It's gone in underneath the goalkeeper's legs. I think that's Coco that's put it in. It is indeed Coco. And in 12 minutes, Newcastle have gone 1-0 up. Schubert ecstatic at the other end of the pitch. But we've been here before. We know that we can't relax yet. Taking the lead is no, no guarantee whatsoever that we're going to get things our own way. Werner proving he can be provider as well as finisher. And Coco happily gobbling up the leftovers. Newcastle take the early advantage. Marquinhos. Paris Saint-Germain getting a lot of touches here, but they're not making much progress. Paris Saint-Germain have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition. No problem the there. They're not expecting. Guess for the visitors here, the thing they have to decide is whether they are happy to take a draw and yes. play conservatively or go all out and try and win it. Yeah, absolutely. I, I suppose from well, a we're already winning it, so that commentary line is vastly out of date already. Yeah, the former certainly a strategy oh. which is just as valid here. Oh, that's brilliant from Hummels. He got ahead of the ball there. That's not the ball I wanted to play. Saw Werner making the run, and I wanted him to try and play the through ball into Werner's path. Didn't happen, unfortunately. But then I wasn't really able to get much power onto it either. Always going wide, that shot. That's a little unfortunate. You had a lot of people worried then. Willems. Hayden. Nkunku. Willems. Verratti battles to uh -oh. And the counter-attack is on for PSG and they do have the potential for an overlap. They've passed it backwards, strangely. Maximan. Thiago Silva can get it clear. Mbappe. Oh, Kylian Mbappe. He's got back to pace. We're going to have to watch out for him. Calderim. Neymar. Oh, they've got space down the left-hand side. It's come into the box. 
that's good from Shelby. A little bit late on the pass there, unfortunately Maximan unable to get it out to Maximan. Good tackle. Nkunku goes looking. He is not one readily to admit Might have played that a little bit too early. Uh, he's got a foot on it. Not able to do enough to deflect the ball. It's gone back to the goalkeeper. That's okay. Not really able to keep up the pace of the game with my commentary here. So, apologies for that. Newcastle looking odds on to go in at the break with their advantage intact. Oh, Maximan. Oh, it's so close. Goalkeeper able to get to the ball. Werner following it up. Would have been on it if there'd been a chance. Back to the goalkeeper seems to be the safest option. And we build from the back again. Henricks. It's been intercepted and that will come to nothing. Marco Verratti. Calderim. Thiago Silva. Forward it goes. Easy for Henrik. Well, it should have been easy for Henriks. It wasn't quite. Hummels clears it away. And at 1-0 at half-time. Half -time. I'm pretty happy. I think the, uh, the main thing now is to try and make sure that we maintain the clean sheet. Away goals so often prove to be the deciding factor in these affairs and I want to make sure that that doesn't become the case here just back from your break you've missed very little of the resumption of the second half well, may be good enough, so that's may great from Hummels into Nkunku plays it out to Maximan is Werner Plays it back to Maximan. He's a little bit too wide to be able to do much with it. He tries to cross. Werner with the header. Defensive header. Unable to... Oh, that's good from Henriks. That's very good from Henriks. Just plays it back to Hummels. Out wide to the left. Through ball into Nkunku. Who's unable to get to it. PSG on the counter again. They've got numbers on this like this flank here. Gets away from his opponents. That intervention was very necessary. Well, that's the first attempt, Peter, we've seen at one of those raking passes just to spread the play. Lots of room down this right-hand side. Henrix pulls it back. Ah, no. That's fantastic from Nkunku. Werner now, he's got a chance here if he can get past the man. Smack it. Oh, off the post! Looking for a decent ball in. Here it comes. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. It's one. And he's there to make a great save. Peppering the goal with shots, unable to make any of them count. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Would have gone in, but the goalkeeper more than equal to it. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Maximan. Fantastic finish by Maximan. Pure invention on his part. The corner slightly too deep. Headed back across by John Joe Shelby. And Maximan, knowing that he didn't have time to settle himself and turn on the ball, just went for a half bicycle kick volley. And it had just enough power to beat the goalkeeper into the top corner of the net. And his trademark cartwheel finish to say, yep, I'm here and I've scored. Maximan back on target. It's been a little while. 
trouble from here on in. The turning of the screw comes to mind, Peter. They've got them where they want them. Draxler. Loses his balance. That's good teamwork by the two midfielders. Doubling up on him. Making the most of their numbers. Nice interplay by the right-sided players there. Keira. Newcastle clearly aren't looking comfortable on the ball at the moment. Ref, what the hell is going on here? Could you please call one of these fouls? Oh, how about that from Maximan? Outside of the area, a little bit of R2 just to make sure he shaped it. And he passes it into the bottom corner of the net. Goalkeeper furious, can't really blame him. Not much room for manoeuvre there. And with the score at 3-0, I see no point to tire the players out any more than we need to. We're going to give Joel Linton a run out. We'll give Ribery a run out. And I'm thinking Machia can come on and do a little bit on the left-hand side of defence for us as well. Triple sub, maybe a little bit risky at this point. I'm also going to take the attacking fullbacks instruction off. No need to overstretch ourselves in that sense. The better team at the moment, Peter, and no doubt we'll be looking to to cause even more damage here. Good tackle by Henricks. Releases Joel Linson on the right-hand side. Maximan. Nunkunku. Oh! We thought it was going to be four. Out towards the flank. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Right, the people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. Draxler. Easy for the goalkeeper to hang on to. Well, the defence are in a good position to get behind the ball and, and let them just try from range. That's a bad pass. Makes up for it though by winning the ball back. I don't know what Maximan's doing back healing the ball there. It's a free kick anyway. Apparently to us, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, apparently jumping both feet onto the chest of your opponent doesn't count as a foul. In fact, if anything, it's a foul the other way. <laughs> I don't know how that works. I'm not going to question it too much, though. Okay, that wasn't the pass that I told him to play. Neymar. He's had a shot. Easy for the goalkeeper again. Played straight out to the centre-back. Nutmegs, the midfielder there. It's getting a little bit stretched. Don't want to concede this away goal. Hayden. Confirmation that there will be two minutes stoppage time. Uh, he's just knocked off the ball. It's good defending, if a little bit cynical. And that will do. 3-0, final result. And it's going to be difficult for PSG to come back from this one. Now we just have to hope that Newcastle can take this form back into the Premier League. 
and try to rescue their title bid which is hanging by a one point sized thread. Your whole system is going to break down. And I think there was there was a good discipline about what they did really in affecting that. The stats make for very good reading. The player ratings somewhat mixed. Let's have a look at how the other game went. Wow, Barcelona beating Bayern Munich 4-0. That is going to be difficult for Munich to turn over. It's looking increasingly like it might be a Newcastle-Barcelona final. And if memory serves me correct, the last time that Newcastle played Barcelona in a competitive fixture, it may have worked out better for Newcastle. Let me know if you guys remember that one. But I seem to remember Tino Aspria getting a couple. And so that's going to do us... Oh, hello. We've got a little bit of drama here. A do-or-die decider. I don't think it is do or die. I think we've got a couple of matches left yet. What's our approach going to be entering the final stage of the season? Uh, how do you play it smart? I mean, at the end of the day, we're in a position where we have to win the games that we have left. So playing it smart, that's a load of bullshit. There's only two options here. We will win all the matches from this point on. Or we're focused on the match in front of us. Well, I'm not going to guarantee that we win the matches in front, uh, all the matches from now on. So I'm just going to say we're focused. We are focused on the match in front of us. That's the one that we're thinking about. It's one game at a time at this point. And that's exactly what he said there. We'll take it each match as it comes. That's the sensible option. Let's not overpromise. Okay, and that's going to do us for another game. Until next time when we will be taking on Manchester City and playing the second leg of the semi-final of the Champions League. Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourselves. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.